Hello friends, welcome to Tech Lake video tutorials. Uh, in this ongoing uh, Spark SQL, Databricks SQL uh, video tutorials, the uh, previous session uh, we started with uh, DRL, Data Query Language, with a select statement. Today we will understand uh, sorting the data using uh, order by and sort by, and uh, we'll understand the difference between uh, order by and sort by. Order by and sort by. Let's, uh, I'll give a walkthrough on uh, Spark UI. So first we'll start with a Spark UI. So I'm going to open a new tab. If you go to the compute, uh, if you go to your cluster, the cluster will be having an option called Spark UI. So in this, every cluster, every cluster will be having a Spark UI. So there you can go to the SQL and data frame, where you can monitor your SQL query execution. SQL query execution and uh, execution plan also you can see there. So that I will explain uh, today because we are going to understand sorting, sorting, what is this sorting exactly and uh, order by and sort by a difference between these two, difference between these two. So let's go to that uh, tutorial uh, which I shared the DBC file. The DBC file is available in every video description. You can go through that which is available in my GitHub. Go to uh, github.com. And this is my repository called uh, Spark Telugu. My username is Rarinda TAL and the repository. So there you can find this DPC file. So copy this link and import into your workspace. Copy this link, import into your workspace. This is a DPC file, contains all Spark SQL tutorial. So go to the DRL, data retrieval language, and order by, sort by. Order by, sort by. First we'll understand order by, then we'll move on sort by. We'll see the difference between order by and sort by. We'll see the difference between order by and sort by. So uh, we started with a basic select statement, then we'll understand today sorting, then we will understand later more uh, information about uh, filters, joins, and think about where class and joins we'll understand in next session. So order by is one of the class. If you are coming from traditional database background or data warehousing background, you will be knowing this order by class. This is most of the databases supports this. Okay. And uh, if you are looking for data in a particular order, ascending or descending order, you can use the order by class. Let's create this table. Let's create this table and uh, we'll apply sorting on this table. So I'm going to create a table with the three columns, ID, name, and age. It's a person table. I'm inserting some data. I'm inserting some data. Even I'm inserting some one null value as well. Understand? Uh, whenever you are sorting the data, how nulls it will display, how nulls it will display. Okay. Even if you are looking for nulls last or nulls first, even we can use the statement here. Looks like a particular location is already it's occupied. So I'll drop this location using percentage FS RM minus R. I'll drop existing all the tables, if existing tables, and this is just community edition, okay? Just a learning purpose, we are using community edition. Don't use this in a, a real time in a, a work environment. Be careful while deleting that particular location. I'm recreating this table again. And select star, select is one class, star means all columns from a table. Then we can use a sort by or order by, sort by or order by. And uh, I'll explain both difference between sort by and order by. I'll explain the both. First we'll see the normal table data. Okay, so first I'll show you the data first. Then we'll see the order by, then we'll see the sort by as well. Let's wait a few more seconds. Yes. So here the default data it is displaying. Consider I want to name in a particular order. So we can use order by. So order by name, name is a column. So by default it will display names in ascending order. Ascending order. The names you see, this is an ascending order. Or I'm looking for age. 
So uh, the age, whatever you specify the column, by default it will display ascending order, and nulls will be displayed first. You see this when you are going for ascending order, nulls will be displayed first, and if you use uh, nulls last, so then data is data is displaying in ascending order, but nulls will be displayed in last. You see this. Then if you are looking for Descending order, DESC. So DESC or DESC and descending uh, complete spell out, you can do that, or DESC you can use. Descending order. When you are going for descending order, so data is in the descending order, and nulls will be last by default. If you are doing ascending order, nulls will be first. If you are doing a descending order, nulls will be last. Okay? If you are doing a descending order, nulls will be last by default. If you are doing ascending order, nulls will be first. So consider if you want nulls first, then you can use nulls first. So this is about order by. Let's understand sort by as well. Let's understand start by. Select star from a table, sort by. So sort by age column. So leave it about this. First we'll see the difference between order by and sort by. Order by and sort by. So now, in this scenario, you cannot find any difference. In this scenario, you cannot find any difference. Both are displaying same. You see this. Both are displaying same because age wise I applied age column wise sorting ascending order. If I go with a name column, then here also name column, you cannot find any difference between the sort by and order by. Both are doing the sorting. Both are not same. But in this scenario, both are same. I'll explain the difference. I'll explain the difference. Both are not same actually, but in this scenario, both are displaying same data. You don't see the difference. You don't see the difference. Let's take, go to the another notebook. There is another notebook called sort by. Okay. And uh, drop the table. I'll recreate the table again with the more data. With the more data. Same percent table, the zip code, name, and age. Zip code, name, and age. Just I'll drop the table first, then I'll recreate with a new data. I'll recreate with new data. Now I'm going to give you a difference between order by and sort by. Okay, let's concentrate on this order by and sort by. First, I will see the data. We'll see the data. So I'll select start from a person table order by name and uh, we'll run both the queries I'll run both the queries with a uh, sort by sort by name sort by name if you look at this so total 13 rows are available if you look at this you don't see the much difference both are same the last one is big grant we don't see the difference. Even if I go with the uh, age column, age column. So as default is ascending order, nulls will display first. Okay. Now let's, you see this. Both are same. Even you cannot find any difference. So why you cannot find any difference means the so default it is going with a single partition. If you look at this single task, it is getting submitted means that the entire data is a single partition data. Here also you see entire data is a single partition data. Let's go to the Spark UI. So I told you right, cluster cluster will be having a Spark UI. There you can find the SQL and data frame. There you can find whatever we executed a query. So these two queries, one is a sort by, another one is order by. I'll open in a new tab. This is sort by, another one is ordered by. And once you go to the SQL data frame, and here you can see this, it is reading data from packet file because data delta table and default is column storage. Packet file default stores a column storage. And uh, when you are displaying data, tabular format, tabular format means row format, it is doing a row to column format. 
then we are doing a sorting and sorting you can see this sorting uh, you see ascending order nulls first by default it is applying age column okay I, it is highlighting in a black because you see that the uh, text okay if you expand this with the details you can see the same details by default and uh, next we'll go to that another one so this is this is another one and uh, here also you see this okay i'll uh, go to the spark ui again i'll show you that query this is the other by so previous one is sort by this is other by i order by and uh, you see uh, default data it is taking and displaying here and even if you go to the details expansion details also you see this number of input branches number of rows that in only one one branch it is going this okay and where it is reading that also you can see this one row group from parquet file the complete statistics you can find here complete statistics you can find here now let's understand the difference between these two because the data is doing the same the sorting is doing the same order by a sort by but when you see the difference so if you have a multiple partitions instead of single partition if you have a multiple partitions data then you see the difference so what i'll do i'll use a hints so how to use a hints you can use forward slash star plus in between you can use a hint then star forward slash so here what i'll do i will do a repartition so repartition on zip code column this column okay and if you want to do number of partitions then you can consider i want to create a three partitions consider i want to create a three partitions zip code column let's verify the data first values one two three okay now when i go with the repartition three and use the same hint for other by as well okay use the same hint for other by now run this query now run both queries so i'm doing the repartitioning repartitioning means it will create a three partitions so partition one partition two partition three based on zip code column and here also you see this three partitions so three tasks it is submitted and here also if you go to the spark job and the three partitions means three tasks it is submitted and uh, let's understand this data let's understand the data always nulls first ignore the first two records nulls first ignore those two records then understand the next two records okay you see this uh, this zip code this zip code till here you see this the values 5 10 12 15 25 30 so it is closing that zip code then here if you look at this this zip code you see this 5 10 12 15 25 30 and then another zip code is starting here another zip code is starting and when you look at this this is the another partition this is another partition but if you look at this 30 36 40 but in between 40 is there sorry 34 is there 35 is there 36 is there but the data is not sorted here see it is closing here then again 36 40 is coming here because that this is different partition then again 34 35 36 but if you look at this 34 35 36 36 then 40 you see that age column in a proper ascending order 30 34 35 6 36 40 but if you observe carefully this partition again it is having a minimum value and then ascending order within a partition this is another partition the data is there in ascending order within the partition so sort by mainly it will sort the data within a partition let's go to this execution plan so we can open this 
and uh, so here you can see this column to row and uh, shuffle right shuffle read because we are doing a repartitioning so number of three partitions we are doing total regards 13 and uh, you can see that code also so three partitions partition by number hash partitioning it is doing then sorting you see this then sorting First, it will repartitioning, then partitioning data based on in, in a particular partition wise. Particular partition wise. Then go to that another one. This is the another one. So here also I'm doing a here also I'm doing a repartitioning. So repartitioning it is doing here. Repartitioning. Okay. But when it comes to the repartition number of partitions, also three. But when it comes to order by, order by sorting, order by you see this order by is doing a total data set. Order by is doing a total data set. Page column, null first ascending order. Okay, so three partitions it is creating, that's okay. But when it comes to sorting the data, right, whenever you use the order by class, it will sort the data on total output. Total output. Whenever you go with a sort by, sort by will do the data within a partition. So this is one partition. This is one partition. This is another partition. Actually, if you look at this, 36, 40, ascending order within a partition. But again, 34, 35, 36. But this is 40 is greater than this, right? But still. The sorting is happening within a partition that is called sort by. If you have a single partition, both are same. You don't see the difference when it comes to output data sorting output. But if you have a multiple partitions data, sort by always will do the sorting on within a partition. Sort by within a partition. Order by will do the entire data set. Order by will do the entire data set. Whatever data set, it doesn't matter number of partitions. Entire output it will do that. Entire data set sorting. So that's the difference between sort by order by. This is about two classes: order by class, sort by class. Then next session, what we will do, we'll understand where class and joints. Joints are very important concept. We'll understand where class, then joints. Then we will move on. Uh, window functions a few more functions are available our classes are available that we will see that like clustered by distributed by group by having and the pivot is available limit is available so we'll understand one by one all these classes in upcoming videos thank you if you're not subscribed please subscribe my channel see you in another video